Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Godzilla Plays 27 Plays. I hope everyone had a very good Easter. Easter is very fun. And um yeah, let's see what uh I have made. Now the Jurassic World Dominion aka Jurassic World 3, the final uh, movie of the Jurassic World slash park franchise. It's gonna be the most epic crossover ever. And uh, I decided, uh, until the movie is released, why don't I make Lego dinosaurs? Right? I mean, why wouldn't I? I mean, if you saw the trailer, then you'll probably know what this is, so. Um, here... Before we start, here are four dinosaurs that will be appearing in the Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, the Dilophosaurus. The T-Rex. The Carnotaurus. And Blue. Blue being one of the main uh, dinosaurs. Now, now, let's get started. What I've made here is a Lego Quetzalcoatlus. And the Quetzalcoatlus is a pterosaur known from the late Cretaceous period of North America. Uh, it was the largest known flying animals of all time. It can even be bigger than the Pteranodon. With a wingspan of 33 to 36 feet. And it's estimated. Um, and the Quetzalcoatlus is a member of the family called... Uh, I really don't know how to say it. But uh, if you want, you can just search it up, whatever. Just spell Quetzalcoatlus. Uh, this is a... Well, the family the Quetzalcoatlus in, is in is of advanced toothless pterosaurs with... Long and stiffened necks. Uh, it lived 72.1 million years ago. And it died out 66 million years ago. And it died out in Maastrichtian. Uh, the order is Pterosauria. Pretty obvious because it can fly. Uh, its mass was 444 to 550 pounds. And since this is a pterosaur, it is believed that this could have that pterosaurs might have eaten fish. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, things a little not really stiff. It's uh, really bendy, so uh, it usually falls off. Now, let's get to the uh, this specific um, movement. So now, if I just go like this, whoops! Oh my god, I keep forgetting that. <sighs> so, as you can tell from this, um, what I've made, they have long beaks, and and they have very short tails, and. This could be predator and prey situation. I mean, if you heard of the Spinosaurus, Spinosaurus eat pterosaurs as well as fish. So yeah, here it is. So technically, um, if you were to search up a video on how to make a Lego Quetzalcoatlus, uh, this is not what I usually did. I technically just use the base uh the mostly the body for the wing uh of a pterosaur i used the wing i used the wings and body of a pterosaur because i didn't really have a lot of uh legos to make it like longer so longer wings but they can have very sharp talons and the location people have found the fossils of uh the Quetzalcoatlus 
are Texas and Montana. And they are very broad wings. Very broad, very broad. Um, the genus of this of this dinosaur is Cuticolus Lawson, 1975. Uh, yeah, the kingdom is Animalia, obviously, because it's an animal. So. Now let's get to the part where it moves. As you can tell, the head moves, the neck moves, uh, it's short little stubby tail. The legs can move, talons, no, fortunately. Oh my god, ignore that. Uh, the wings can move, like different parts of the wing, like this, like the tip can move, the middle part, and the whole wing can move. <sighs> Hopefully, I can try and make a better one. Usually one that doesn't have its head popped off. So, yeah. Like and subscribe. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Please, I need it. You heard the man. Give him likes and subscribe. But you will die. No, I'm just kidding.